Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today we will create fairy tale image using Adobe Stock Images and Pixel Squid, a 3D object. Um, first of all, I will open my uh, first image downloaded from Adobe Stock. It will be our uh, first layer, background layer. And right now I would like to bring my uh, second layer, second image downloaded from Adobe Stock. Simply click and drag into your image, change position. Do anything you want to. After you're satisfied, I click on. Okay. Now I would like to remove a background. A quick selection tool. And I will select my uh, object. Just like that. You don't need to make a perfect selection. Now I'm going to um, select the Max workspace. This is a new workspace in Adobe Photoshop and I like, uh, love this uh, workspace a lot. First of all, I will zoom in my image and using a um, brush, I will remove a uh, part of my um, background. I left uh, using a quick selection tool. I will make my brush bigger, just like that. I love um, selecting mask tool uh, workspace. This workspace uh, made my life much, much, much easier with all selection and masking workflow. Just like that. I left also part of her um, hair and wings. Just like that. If I made mistake, I will um, click undo. Just like that, guys. As you can see, I have um, onion skin as my view mode. This is 0% uh, percent transparency. This is 100% transparency. Um, also, uh, now I would like to use um, Refined Ages tool, but before that I would like to switch from Onion Skin to Black and White view mode and using uh, Refined Age um, tool I will fix the uh, edges of my object. Zoom in. Just look at that. Amazing, amazing job. Just like that. And this is part of her hair. I remember that. Just like that. Love, love, love uh, selected mask workspace. I'm switching back to my onion skin and now I can see everything. So uh, I need to fix this part of her hair and this. Just like that. And also this. When you're satisfied with your um, selection and masking, um, set your uh, output settings to layer mask and click OK. Like that. Now I can resize and move my object using free transform tool. I will uh, make my uh, object smaller, just like that. like that. 
yes and I click OK right now I see that I would like to add more transparency to her dress I can do it simply using um, brush tool um, opacity setting to um, 17 or 21 and just like that paint out some part of her dress when I want to apply transparency just like that hair and part of her lamp just like that I'm good for now um, also I would like to add a shadow under uh, my um, main object I will highlight my background I will add empty layer and I will choose a color out of our background layer just like that I'm switching back to my brush tool and I will paint um, with opacity 100% I will paint our under our um, main object I would like to uh, make my color darker like that and something like that we can um, uh, erase part of her shadow like that we can bring opacity of uh, shadow layer down and also we can apply a blur effect um, filter you can use any blur um, filter you would like so any blur filter you are comfortable with just like that if I would like to make a shadow darker i will use uh, exposure adjustment just like that and click ok now i would like to bring a uh, 3d object into my document to make my document more um, natural looking i will um, bring my first object let's see what object i would like to work with uh, this flower double click if you don't like uh, if you don't want want to have a shadow simply uh, uh, uncheck this box but i would like to have shadow and i would like to work with high resolution 3d object uh, also definitely i would like to um, change angle of my flower just like that rotate and using free transform tool i will resize my 3d object make it smaller just like that and change angle one more time yes like that now i would like to um apply layer mask to my uh, flower i will zoom in and you will see using um, a simple brush with black color i will paint out some uh, part of uh, bottom of my flower to make a uh, nature illusion uh, like this flower um, was uh, on our background by default also uh, probably i would like to make this flower smaller just like that yes and also i will um change position of my flower let's zoom in image coming back to layer mask um simple brush with bl black color on it just like that yes i like it more and now right now i would like to bring another 3d object into our document another flower let's see what else do i have double click on this flower high resolution image and i will resize my image using free transform tool just 
just like that. Just like that. Here or here. Maybe here, right. And I will zoom in my image and I will apply layer mask, black color, um, black, um, I will apply black color to my uh, simple brush tool and I will paint out some part of my uh, flower, bottom of my flower. And using free transform tool, I will resize my image just to make it perfect. Yes. Just like that. I will merge all visible layers because I like my image right now and I will apply uh, adjustments. I will apply adjustments as separate layer because I can um, adjust my adjustments layer later on. I can delete my adjustments layer or do anything I want to. So first of all, let me uh, bring um, apply exposure adjustment. Just like that. And um, I would like to um, bring a color lookup adjustment and I will apply full uh, colors adjustment. Because I apply adjustment as separate layer, I can bring opacity um, down like that. And also I would like to bring a selective color adjustment layer and I will um, change a black slider of each color. I will make each color more or less popping up. So like that, greens, just like that, white and natural. Let me change exposure. I would like to bring exposure down like that. And also I would like to um, bring a brightness contrast adjustment layer. Just like that. Yes, I like it. Also, let's try uh, levels. I'm not sure if I will use it. Yeah, actually I like it. And one more time, merge visible. Duplicate your layer and right now we will work with a lens flare. Let me make a change position on my lens flare. Um, bring a brightness up or down. Let me see. Just like that. 86. Click OK. And I like it. What else we can do? Um, also, we can add more uh, fairy tale feeling to our image. And just in case, I will duplicate my layer one more time. And one more time, lens flare. I will make brightness smaller, about 24, 20%, maybe less. Let's see. Yes, click OK. As you can see, uh, we have just a splash of light. Just like that. A few more time lens flare. Filter. And one more time. Just like that. Let's see what else we can add. Uh, Let's add bring another adjustment layer, curves. I'm sorry, I meant curves. Just like that. I'm not sure. It's before, it's after. Let's bring down opacity of our curves adjustment layer like that and probably probably we will add a color lookup adjustments layer we will bring back our four 
fall colors. Is it before? It's after? Yes. Definitely, yes. Let me uh, make uh, invisible all my layers. Uh, layers um, we will not work anymore and I will merge all visible. So this is our image before we applied lens flare and this is after. Let me delete all our images. Layers we don't need anymore. And this is our image guys. Uh, we create fairy tale image using a uh, Images I downloaded from Adobe Stock and also we used a 3D object I downloaded from Pixel Squid. Thank you guys and I will see you later on. Bye.